เบิดที่ตกขางคือถือกับสิ่งต่างนี้พาให้เสียขาดออกไปนะ I came to Laos a couple of years ago to ride my bike along the Ho Chi Minh Trail and to look for the place where my father's plane was shot down during the Vietnam War. The documentary Blood Road tells a story of that journey. One of the most upsetting things along the trail was the amount of unexploded ordnance that still exists, and that partially my father was responsible for. And now I've come back to help with the efforts to clean up. The unexploded ordinances and war debris that we left behind. Laos is per capita the most contaminated country in the world. We're ranging from finding hand grenades to large airdrop bombs. We have to treat everything as if it does function as designed, and with the amount of accidents what is still happening in Laos. A lot of these munitions still do function. This is our area of responsibility. Red is where we've previously done uh -huh. technical survey, and green is actual clearance. Okay. There's still a lot of actual clearance to be done. So green's cleared, red's not. Exactly. These small teams of 14 or 15 people, they actually leave their homes for three weeks at a time, live together in a community, and they're they're out in the field working every single day on clearing. Sabadi. <laughs> so Rebecca is a professional cyclist. She is generating money for Mag, so we can continue with our work. What we're doing at the minute. Now my mission is to. <laughs> Be part of your team, and together we can we can clean up Lao. Okay, Lao. Okay, thank you. Each piece of land is checked twice, and as they're finding and marking things, they're coming back and detonating them. Once we've got the all clear, we lift this up. There's a button in here. Mm -hmm. There's a red light flashing. So red one, green one. Both at the same time. Once I give you the countdown. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, fire! Four less in the world. <laughs> yes. Well done. I didn't expect to be affected by this today, like this, but when you see it. How powerful they are! It definitely strengthens the mission that I have to to help clean this place up. Every let's everyone hug. <laughs> I was really excited to find out they're actually taking the scrap metal and making something that they could use every day. Story. And a company came in Article 22 and taught them to make jewelry. We work with artisans in Napia Village who have been transforming bombs into spoons since the 70s. I thought, what if we could take this local innovation global, but instead of making spoons, we make bracelets and other jewelry. Each piece we sell helps generate disposable income to complement their subsistence farming livelihoods. Yeah, that's a good one. In addition to that, we donate to Mines Advisory Group to help clear some of the unexploded ordnance from their land. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> My dad brought me here and gave me a job to do. He sent me a message. And partnering with MAG and Article 22, there are multiple facets to that. So if people do donate money um, or buy an Article 22 bracelet, what that's going to is the clearance process, but then also the education. And that involves schools, villagers, and just making sure that everybody knows how they can safely clear their land and enjoy their lives here in Laos.